today we are doing another collector's case. Um, for those of you who don't know, this is a box uh, company, I believe, coming out of Canada. Um, yep, out of Canada. Um, and it's a monthly subscription box that has uh, two options where you can buy the Chance box or the Sure Thing box. Um, the Chance box has the chance to get an autograph in the box. The Sure Thing automatically comes with it. Um, and also you can buy past boxes that did not sell out of both the Sure Thing or the, uh, the Chance box, depending on what they have available left. Um, I went ahead and looked at that list and there were quite a few autographs that I, I really did want to go after. Um, there was only one box that had uh, those autographs I wanted that had a Sure Thing box available. Uh, so I bought all four boxes. I bought three Chance boxes and one Sure Thing box. I don't know which one this is. But, uh, and I don't remember what was in those boxes. I just looked at the autographs that it kind of came in with it. Um, I do show that this one is for March. That was the March box of 2017. Um, I don't remember which which autograph was in this one or or not, but um, that is what I ordered, and I'm just waiting for all four of those cases to come in. Well, let's go see it and see which this one is, and I'm really hoping that uh, I got the autograph out of this box. Uh, one thing I do want to say to collectors' case if they are watching this. Um, I, I love their box subscriptions, but I really wish that um, it was easier to switch between boxes. I feel like I have to, um, like, I, I don't want to go for every Sure Thing box or every uh, Chance box. Um, I'll typically go with all the Chance boxes, um, but every once in a while when I see that autograph that's in that box that I'm like, okay, that's an autograph I have to have. I think there should be a, a, a subscription area where you can just click over to, all right, this month I want the Sure Thing box. You get charged with the Sure Thing box, and then you can switch it back to the regular box as soon as that's done, or until you find another autograph. I really wish that was a thing because I had to cancel my subscription and then start a new subscription, and I don't know. There, there was just some disconnect there that I really felt was kind of hassly. Uh, but other than that, I love this company. I am I'm ready to um, go ahead and get into this. Now that I see the shirt, I think I do remember which box this is. Um, but let's go ahead and get into it. This is a blue shirt. Again, I'm loving that it's not black. Um, this is a blue shirt that says, Live Long and Prosper. I love that it's Star Trek. I, I love that it's a shirt other than black. So, and it, this just, oh, really hits home with me. Love this shirt. Um, I will be wearing this one quite often. This will be probably one of my regular shirts that you see me wearing. Uh, next item out of the box is a Chewbacca Star Wars Wacky Wobbler. I believe these are what these are called. Um, maybe not all of them are called Lucky Wobbers, but it's a Chewbacca Star Wars vinyl bobblehead. I have received uh, one of these styles in the past, but I believe it was for the Flame Trooper. So, and it's in my, my movie room on one of my shelves. Um, so I'm super happy to get a Chewbacca one. Chewbacca is one of my favorite uh, characters from Star Wars. So, super pumped about that one. Big win there for me as well. Then we have a pop. Now, I love pops. I stayed away from them for so long and then finally was like, just okay, I'm giving in and I'm going to start a pop collection. And it's grown quite a bit over the last year. Uh, this is Max Rebo. I do not have this one. Looks like it is a Funko Specialty Series exclusive, which I think is kind of cool. Um, I don't have this one, so I'm super pumped to get this one. Again, fantastic item. That is another huge win for me. So far, I don't have any losses, and that's a good thing. Um, next item out of the box is a pen. And this is a Star Wars pen. It has BB-8 on the top of the pen. Um, I wonder if it's a twist 
tote thingy. Or maybe it's a pencil. I'm not sure. This is... doesn't tell you. It feels plastic, but at the same time it could... Is that like an eraser on the top? Oh, okay, that's just a small cap. I was like, what the heck is it? Do you twist it? It is a pen. Uh, and it's just got this small cap on the on the top of it, and it's got BB-8. So, not a bad item. Kind of just like a toss-in. Um, so, we'll see about that. Um, another item out of the box. This is a mystery pack, and it looks like almost a Tim Burton style t Star Trek. It says Star Trek Skelly Treks. So it's a skeleton version of Star Trek. Knife it properly. I'm really curious about this item. This, oh wow, that is interesting. So it's like a um, failed cryostasis for Star Trek or something like that where you'd see like a, a mummified corpse or skeleton in an area that is actually kind of interesting. I'm not sure who that is though. It's a gold plate so I don't know if this is from the original or if this is from um, one of the other Star Treks. On the back it does look like there is a Borg uh, so this is from Next Generation. It's got Luke Picard. It's got... Um, is this, it almost looks like Data. But I don't know if it's Data or not. Like, Data wouldn't be skeletized because he's an android. He's got uh, all that hardware underneath his skin. I'm not sure who this is. It's not Jordy LaForge. He'd have his visor. Yeah, I, I'm really not sure who exactly this is. Because those are the only ones that were yellow. Um, I don't know. I'm not sure who it is. I'm a little lost. I should know. I'm re-watching the series right now. Yellow. Yellow shirt. The only one I can think of is Data. And Data and Jordy wear a yellow shirt. Uh, Will Riker... Captain Picard, they wear red shirts. Um, Crusher, he wears a gray uniform because he's an ensign. Um, Doctor wears, yeah, I'm, I'm at a loss. I'm not sure, guys. If you know, let me know. Because um, I am baffling myself right now. Uh, next item out of the box is Doctor Who, the good, the bad, and the alien. It is a book of Doctor Who. Um, this is actually, I believe, I believe my second book. Maybe it is my first book that I've ever received in a box. I know absolutely nothing about Doctor Who. I've been wanting to watch it, but uh, I can't find anywhere to stream it. And uh, none of my local friends here own it, so I can't borrow it from anybody. So, um... Maybe I'll give it a read. I have a ton of books I love to read, but I already have a queue so long um, that I don't know if I'll ever reach the end of it. Granted, this does look like, what, like a 100-page book? 160-page book. So that would literally be a sit-down read for one day, so I could probably knock it out if I wanted to. But, yeah, I don't, I don't know if we'll make it to that one. Now we got a box in here. It's kind of light. It's got a big question mark on it. I'll save that for, for last. And we got some Star Wars Evolution trading cards. Eight trading cards in each pack. We got two packs. Um, those of you who have seen my channel know that I am... This is the one thing that I, I, I really I don't really like about this subscription box. Is you get a trading card packs in almost every... Um, every deck, or every box, not every deck. Um, I'm not gonna, I'll, I'll put a picture on the screen for 
uh, some of the cards that we receive. I'm not going to hold them up because you're not going to be able to see them. Uh, I don't see anything special yet um, as way of signatures or something like that. I don't even know if there are signatures or what a rare card is going to look like. Um, but I see some definitely recognizable characters and it looks like they do all, go all the way back all the way up to current, so very nice. Um, we've got our spoiler thing, and we've got something on the bottom here. And it is a Doctor Who annual 2016 book. I'm not quite sure what this is, and I don't think this was in the original one, but it looks like just sort of like the characters in history with a little bit of a graphic novel in there. Mm, not really my cup of tea. Um, but not a bad item overall. Um, yeah. Um, and... Okay. Here's the spoiler magazine. Here's the crate. Here's the mystery item. Okay, so this is another pop. I was not convinced that it was because it is so very, very light. It feels like an empty box. Um, let's go ahead and see who we got. We got Boss Baby, Baby in Diaper. That is kind of interesting. I did just recently watch this movie on Netflix because it was there. It wasn't a bad movie, but it wasn't the best movie either. But uh, I'm always happy to get another pop. Um, this will probably stay in my collection. I liked it enough that I'll, I'll go ahead and keep it. Um, but yeah. What you could have gotten out of the box, we did get a um, Wacky Wobbler. That is what they are called, Star Wars. Could have gotten Rey, um, Finn, or Chewbacca. I got Chewbacca. Love it. Would have loved any one of those characters. Um, we got the Doctor Who book. Um, not really my cup of tea, um, but that'll go off to the side. Uh, we got the Funko Pop. The Max Rebo. Looks like everyone got one of these. That is absolutely fantastic. Um, we got... Um, the cards, not really my cup of tea, so going along with that, that book, but not bad. Um, we got the pop pen, kind of a toss-in. I liked it as Star Wars, but uh, again, it's just kind of a toss-in, so not too great of an item. Um, we got the mystery pop. So, collector's case delivers uh, more cases with inserted bonus mystery pops, which is why we got that that extra pop in there. I actually really like that they did that. That is really cool. Um, we got the Star Wars Skelly Trek. Again, trying to figure out that out. Like, I want to say it's data, but I can't guarantee it. Um, we got the um, Doctor Who novel, The Good, The Bad, and The Alien, which is not on the spoiler case, so I'm wondering if that is just a, a toss-in. To get rid of some of their backlog stuff, or they weren't able to provide something that they normally do provide. Um, and then the shirt, which I feel is absolutely awesome. I love this shirt. Now the autograph that we could have gotten that I did not receive is the Jordy LaForge autograph. The uh, he plays, or his name is. Um, why am I blanking on his name? it doesn't show it here. I want to say it's Lamar Burton. I believe his name is Lamar Burton. I, I do apologize if I got that incorrect. But he played Geordie LaForge in Star Trek The Next Generation, which is what I was going after. But, um, didn't, doesn't look like I was lucky this time. So, anyway, that's going to do it for the past March 2017 collector's case. Um, I look forward to getting my other three. There's still a sure thing out there and uh, two chance ones. I'm hoping to get more than just the sure, te sure thing autograph. Um, so join me for those. Join me for other boxings. We'll see you in the next unboxing.
Later, dudes.